this um, this is probably going to be one of the hardest videos I'm ever I could have to record. Um, today is March fourth, twenty seventeen. At about one fifty five, we lost our cat, Sylvester. For those who don't watch my channel, Sylvester uh, was a black and white fluffy cat, long haired, had a heart shaped nose. It, it looked like it was like he had black on his nose and it looked like the shape of Mickey's face. We called it a Mickey Mouse nose, a heart nose. Um, yeah, we lost him today. For the last week, he really took this downward turn. Um, and he just really was not able to fully recover from it. What happened was he started losing the ability to use his hind legs uh, and it just progressed even worse and there were times where he was just looking around like he was all confused. Then yesterday um, I, I literally was watching him and he just did not look good at all. He did not look well. He did not look like himself. Like, I know Sylvester, and he just did not seem like himself. He didn't even look like he knew who he was. Um, so, we were going to extend his stay here with us a little bit longer, but it just wouldn't work out, and the more we watched him, the more it became clear that he just was not going to bounce back and get healthy again. And it's very hard to see someone that you love, even if it's a pet, to wither away like what he did. Um, our previous cat, Sweepy, did the exact same thing. He just, well, he didn't have the things that Sylvester had, but he just slowly got thinner and wouldn't really eat a lot, but Sylvester actually was a little bit of the opposite because he, he kept eating. He would eat, but just being able to keep it down um, was a bit tough. Plus, we had to give him a lot of IV or fluids into his back. We had to give him certain medications, and um, he lived a very, very wonderful life. Um, he lived to be 18 years old. And that's pretty old for a cat. Usually cats will tend to be about 13, maybe to 15, 16 years old. Simon's like right at 14, 15 right now. Um, the reason why they are lasting a little bit longer is because they're indoor. They're indoor cats. We have six total. Well, I guess now I should say we have five total. Um, but yeah, for a while, these cats were originally outdoor cats. But then we had construction around our neighborhood and we were afraid that they might get stuck in a building or get stuck in like cement or there was a possibility of, of pool construction so my mom made the smart move to make them indoor cats so yeah the transition for Sylvester wasn't very easy he did not like being inside the house he loved being outdoors but as time went along he did eventually become used to um, being an indoor cat and I don't remember what year it was that happened but um, as far as we knew when we first brought him into the family he was about a year old so we took him to the vet around 2000. So the way we can state it is that he was born somewhere in 1999. And today he passed away. He isn't our oldest cat, though. Well, he actually lines up with our one of our first cats, Ivy, who was a female cat. She was 18, so he's right there with 
with Ivy being the oldest cats that we've ever had. I think Sweet Pea, who was our short grade tabby, not Spidey, that's that's a different tabby. He, uh, Sweet Pea lived to be about, I think, 16? No, about 15. So Sylvester lasted a few more years than, um, than, uh, than Sweet Pea. Though Sweet Pea was actually born a lot earlier um, than Sylvester. I think, well, actually, I take that, I don't know exactly when, because we don't really know when they were born, because they were strays. Um, I was just thinking about all the different times that, uh, you know, the good times with Sylvester. Um, when I was in my early teens, I actually created a comic book series, my own hand-drawn comic book series called Super Puff. Um, and Super Puff was kind of like my inspiration to really get into comic books, um, this wasn't the first image of Super Puff, actually. The first image that I drew of Super Puff, I believe it's in here. This, these are all my hand-drawn comics, and a lot of them are not finished. Um, but one of Sylvester's first comic book images, or it was more of like an advertisement for him. Um, I'm trying to remember where I put it, but I know it's in here, because I, I wouldn't have stuck it anywhere else. Um, it was, this comic series was based off of him, and he, you know, he was, <laughs> he was, he had his own little lair, his little, uh, CP and Simon were his, like, his, um, his helpers in crime, you know, that, well, not crime, but to stop crime, I should say. I don't know what happened to that picture. I know it's in here, but, uh, oh, wait, is that it? This may be it. That's not it. Oh, I seem to have misplaced it somewhere. But anyways, um, I drew this first cover when I was 13. And, um, yeah. Good times, right? Good times. Um, I posted about Sylvester um, when he passed away on Facebook and also on Instagram. And you guys really lit up my... My page, literally, it's just insane. Um, for those of you who did that, thank you so much. Uh, I really do appreciate it. If you guys post something in the comments, I really appreciate that as well. My mom and dad, my, especially my dad, he was hit the most because Sylvester was more his cat. They bonded very closely, and um, I think he's. I think he took a took a bigger hit than mom, but although mom was the one who fed him all the time, Sylvester. I mean. Um, you're probably wondering how in the world I'm not bawling my eyes out. Um, that's because I'm a man. <laughs> no, um, I did have my moments where I thought I was going to bust out crying for a while, but um, I've been through this many different times, and I know that a lot of people have different reactions about how they feel about loss. Um, I guess for me personally, it doesn't affect me as much because... In terms of losing a cat, yes, it is very saddening, but it's life, right? We have loved ones that enter our lives. They go with us. They We interact with them. We enjoy their time together. Then they're taken from us, which is very upsetting. And um, there's no other cat that's going to be like Sylvester. I mean, there's no other cats going to be like any of our other cats. They're all unique in their own personal way their own personal physical looks, their attitudes, their just who they are. And I know that there are some people who don't like cats, and if you guys don't like cats, um, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> um, to me personally, they're like dogs. I mean, I know that the phrase, the dog's a man's best friend, well, in my case, it's the cats are a man's best friend because they just have as much maybe not equally as amount of energy, but possibly similar characteristics as what dogs have, they will interact with you. Um, I remember when Simon was younger, he would chase me around the house, literally, if I irritated him. Uh, they will play with you, they will um, enjoy your company, and you'll enjoy their company as well. And they, uh, they, may, they may be a bit of a trouble, they may be troublemakers sometimes, but in the end, they are very precious animals, and 
yeah, it, it's just... Uh, they're just wonderful animals. And I know that for a lot of you dog lovers, you probably don't like cats. And for, that's for I, I enjoy both dogs and cats. I've had experience with them. Um, but still, when you lose a pet, it's like losing a family member. It really touches you that much. And I know recently Roman Atwood lost his dog not too long ago, which I know was very heartbreaking. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a very sad time. And my mom right now needs your prayers, you guys. So does my dad. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was kind of a sad video to watch, but I had to make this video. I know this probably wasn't the best time to come back for vlogging, but... Um, but I just had to mention something about this because I know for a fact that I wouldn't want to remember. I, this is something I don't want to remember, but also at the same time, I kind of want to remember that time when I was with Sylvester and all the times that we had, you know, the fun times together. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go see what mom's up to. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I really do thank you for all of your comments and your shares and your subscriptions and everything. It really does mean a lot. Um, but right now it is not a very good time right now. And that's one of the main reasons why I haven't been vlogging as much or really uploading this last week because I just have been dealing with this. So, alright guys, I'll see you all next time. And, um, yeah, Sylvester, we're going to miss you, buddy. Rest in peace.